Okay guys, this is the screwdriver set that I'm going to be using to do the upgrade of the Asus Vivo PC. As you see, this is the Asus Vivo PC that I have. Um, and as you can see behind is all the ports and also you can see a switch there. That's the switch. This is the switch to use to open the um, top cover for us to access the inter internals. So let's flip the switch. Okay, as you can see, the switch has been pushed down. So what you need to do is just to pull back the cover and the cover just opens up. And in internal, you're going to see the hard drive bay. This is actually the dual SATA bay. So you can take it out, just pull it up to the back and take out the hard disk bay. Uh, okay, let's put this aside. Okay, let's take a look at this bay. So there's two screws there that you need to unscrew and also four screws below at the bottom that four screw is basically to set the hard disk in place so um, yeah this two screw that we need to open so let's see let's take a screwdriver <coughs> and find the correct uh, size so let's let us open it okay one Two. So as you can see, that is the internal. This cover has been opened. So this is the uh, drive that I'm using for the upgrade. Um, if you have a 2.5 inch SATA SSD, you can use that as well. Uh, but if you are like me, you have a M.2 uh, SATA drive, then you can use this case basically to convert and put it into the uh, mini PC. So let's unscrew up the case. So that's one. And just remember to put the screw properly. To, uh, yeah, there's another one there. If, yep, there's another one there. So, just uh, for my preference, I would actually prefer to use the screws with magnetic capabilities so that it can um, hold on to the screw better. So, if you can see, this is the board that is holding the SATA drive. So, this is the um, M.2 SATA drive that I have lying around. It's 64 GB. Yeah, see 60 GB. Yeah, yeah. This is the board. Um, prior to that, I still haven't actually had the screws to screw it, so I'm actually sticking it together using a sticker. So this, I'm not. I'm gonna remove it now. Okay, it's been pretty tight. Okay, it's been removed. Okay, so this is how the cut looks like. Now uh, it's a pretty simple one, but it's quite handy to be used if you have additional M.2 SATA drive around just like this right I got one from yeah as you can see yeah I've actually put in the screws back into the I'll put this thing back here make sure you see so when you want to buy it make sure that you get correct sizes for this right so what you need to do now is you put it back in here you see the drive and you see there's an adjustment that needs to be done is to actually get those screws that come from Japan in so at least you can screw it properly so once you screw it back properly okay then you have it here the drive so what you need to do is to put it back and screw it back and then you need to screw it so there's two screws of it so yeah it really comes with more but um you can have to screw a few of them or you can have to screw everything but um, I just put because I don't think you need all of them. Do two corners and you're good to go. There you go. So this is the 
try that use so easy you can actually use the uh, normal 2.5 inch SATA drive and you can buy one of these and get extra M2 or other M60 SSD lying around that you can use you can just buy one of this case I'll leave a link below to let you guys see where I bought it for it's not expensive so here we go so the old hard disk which is here has been screwed back over so I'm not taking it out so what you need to do is the just format it so that you can use it for your backup drive and then you just basically need to slot this drive in that's it and somehow rather there's a gap as you see there's a gap here that I can't actually do anything much about and the drive just sits this way right which basically uh, So what you need to do now is to close this thing back and the drive is ready. Um, as for mine, I've already installed Windows 10 in, so uh, let's just make sure that you updated your Windows 10 prior to that, you, then you can do a clean install on the SSD itself and it will work. So for this, you just need to put it back in, start it in at the correct point, and let me see the correct point to start it. In, just push it in, then the screw back, the screw that you need to screw, and you're good to go. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me see. So let's do it again. Hmm. Seems a bit tight though. Wait, just give me a minute. Yeah, that one seems correct. So as you can it's screwing into, into plastic, which is weird. Okay. Let's see how it goes with this. Okay, let's just put it up properly. Okay, I think now we are good. So let's just screw it back in again. Okay, let's start off with the first screw. Let's make sure that it's tightly screwed in. And the second one. Okay, now we're all done. Okay, now the second step is basically to put in the memory. So let's uh, just open up the cover for the memory. So the screw size seems to be not suitable. Let's just change another one. Okay, then let's try it again. Okay, it seems a bit tight. Let's unscrew further. Okay, it's done. So you just basically need to put in the RAM into the slot. So there are two slots here. So we just slot in the memory into the RAM. And make sure that it's properly inserted to ensure that it's not. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, no. okay, I think it's done this time. Yep. Oh, that's good. I'll be closing back this thing here. So what you need to do is just close it back. Make sure that it's closed properly. And just screw back this thing to make sure that it's tightly screwed. Back in. Okay, and you're done. Okay, this is done now. So the hard disk, that's what you say. It's wrong side, so you need to put this side. Sorry, and I should push it up. Okay, when it's done, then make sure that you just close this back. This is one of the easiest PC upgrades I've ever done. There's no screw, uh, few screws involved. And okay, we are done. So let's see 
how the setup should be after this. Basically, right click on this PC properties. And you should be able to see that now we have 6 gig of RAM after we have added 2 additional RAM that we have. So, the next thing we will need to do is basically to check out on the uh, this, right? So, this is the drive that backup drive that we have and, mm -hmm. and this is the SSD that we have installed in those 10. Okay, I think we are done. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and do subscribe for future updates. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.